And here is a famous theorem due to Philip Hall, and I've stated it in what's called the defect form. If you take a bipartite graph, then the maximum size of a matching is the size of x minus the defect. Whatever the defect is, there's a matching of this size. This theorem is important from a conceptual and theoretical standpoint. It is of no value from a computational standpoint. But look at the corollary on the bottom. And in most textbooks, this is called Hall's theorem, or this is just the regular form of Hall's theorem. If you have a bipartite graph, it's of particular interest. When can I match all of x? And that's sometimes called a complete matching. When can I employ everybody? And you can employ everybody if and only if the defect is zero. So in other words, if you can't employ everybody, then there's a set where the defect is positive. Okay, now look at that picture and tell me a set that produces a defect. There are many of them, but tell me one. Singleton B works. One employee, uh, one candidate, how many neighbors? Zero. Zero. That's, that's a defect of one right there. Do you see a bigger defect? Do I have to worry about computing this? Nope. Nope. Turn on Ford Fulkerson and go get a milkshake. When Ford Fulkerson halts, it gives you the maximum size of the matching. And take cardinality of x minus that, that's the defect. And furthermore, although we won't go into this detail here. The halting condition, when you look at the labeling, you can find the set whose value produces the defect. So you don't really have to scan over all the subsets. It's just like in network flows where the maximum flow is the minimum capacity of a cut, and you didn't have to test all cuts to find that. 